Hey everybody, uh, my name is Isaac Fossil Van Wyk and I'm the Community Relations Director here at Squalus Puppeteers. I'm going to talk kind of fast here at the beginning because I don't want to talk for too long. Um, but firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I mean, being here. Uh, wherever you are, whoever you are, and whenever you are, um, we appreciate your time. And we know that there's a lot of different things that you could be doing with your time. I, you don't need me to tell you that this is a totally insane and unprecedented moment in our history, in the world's history, and, and the history of our city in particular. So a lot of you have probably been out there on the front lines fighting, expressing righteous outrage at the completely dehumanizing treatment of black people in the world black people in this city and Breonna Taylor and the injustice in her case as as a, a an infuriating example of that um, that has come to a head in this moment so keep fighting we are with you and and to those of you who are still on the sidelines wondering how you can support this movement jump in you know try and find a way especially artists white artists in particular, I, I want to make a call out to you of all ages. Um, you need to find a way to get involved and you can and, and you can mobilize your friends and people that you already know to help you get involved and help you uh, listen and understand uh, the ways that you can plug in. There's about three and a half million different ways to plug in and plenty of them are unknown to anyone yet so it's up to you to dream it up. I am just going to plug one quick thing and say that <clears throat> if you like to cook and if you have some extra resources in regards to time and, and food um, or you can mobilize those resources from friends and family, um, please follow at Collective Liberation Network on Instagram and join the Feed the Movement initiative. Uh, it's a simple way to get involved and it's one of the many uh, unsung uh, ways that movements move is there's all of these invisible parts of organizing um, that uh, we're starting to learn about more. I know some of us, some people have known it for a lot longer um, than others and please follow those people, um, follow their lead. Um, <clears throat> so I'm getting a little off track here. I, I, I do want to say in that spirit that uh, all of, not sorry, 50% of all of the proceeds that are raised during, during this broadcast today, uh, thanks to your donations, um, are going to go towards, are going to go directly to on the ground protesters by way of Shamika Parish Wright from the Kentucky Alliance and the Bail Project. Uh, Shamika is an amazing old friend, uh, someone who I greatly admire and trust. Um, so yeah, donate uh, today with that in mind. The other 50% will go to a fund for uh, future artists to participate in the same program, the Squalus Presents program. Um, we uh, are offering $50 stipends to all artists and $150 stipends to black artists to participate and try on the art form of puppetry in the way that six artists have done in what you're about to see today. So um, there's two other tiers to the program I want to just make a quick mention of. We have um, Squalus will be presenting some of our own work throughout this season and also uh, trying to bring in international and, and, and other national puppetry acts. Um, next month we have uh, a broadcast of an amazing uh, Iranian American uh, puppet show based on the Persian Book of Kings. Uh, it's a shadow puppet show and the show is called Feathers of Fire. It will be on October 23rd so stay tuned to social media to get details on that. It'll be free and there will be a, a, a live talk back with the with artist uh, Hamid Romanian after watching the event. Um, we're also going to try and bring the Bread and Puppet Theater back for their Let's Try This Again tour. They, uh, we had to cancel on them at the very last minute due to 
the beginning of the pandemic in March. Um, so they're coming back around this coming March and that will be either digital or something outdoors. Um, so Squalls Presents has a bunch of different layers to it and the one you're gonna see today is indeed uh, artists from all over the map. There are people who have been experienced with puppetry for a long time and people who are trying it on for the first time. Uh, it's puppetry is very loosely defined um, and I can't wait for you to see all the different things that these six artists have come up with uh, in a very short period of time, I should mention. Um, so I want to go ahead and let the work speak for itself. Uh, a, a quick note is that the artists' names are not always mentioned. Uh, a lot of times there are these pseudonyms of their theater companies. So if you're curious to follow up with specific artists, uh, we'll have details about each artist in the chat box and in the um, details um, when this video gets archived on YouTube. Um, so please do follow the artists uh, if you'd like their work and um, yeah, support independent artists. Um, speaking of support, uh, this and other projects could, couldn't be possible without uh, sort of a collage of uh, funding from uh, the Kentucky Arts Council, um, Louisville Metro Government, uh, the Fund for the Arts, and also the Snowy Owl Foundation. So thanks to all of you for that support. And without further ado, um, have I forgotten anything? Let's begin.
Hey there, Garth. I hope you didn't have to wait too long. No, no. I was distracting myself with cat videos on YouTube. I watched those for hours. Hey, y'all. I made it. How are you both doing? I'm doing well. I've been catching up on some reading, and I've been reading a whole lot about trilobites. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that sounds cool, Claire. And what about you, Garth? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm just so bored. Being stuck in my bucket for months is starting to get to me. I want to go out, see my family at the old river, see my friends. Ah! I'm just tired of looking inside this bucket. Yeah, I can understand why you feel that way, but just know you're doing the best thing right now to keep yourself and others safe and healthy. Sometimes it's hard to do the right thing. I hear you, Garth. Especially considering we can't do all of the things we're used to doing. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder where our guest of honor is. What do you mean? I'm already here. Del Garth. We're here to celebrate River's birthday, don't you remember? Oh. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, sorry you all. I got so busy catching up with work, I almost forgot! Not even a pandemic can stop you, huh? Well, this paperwork won't do itself. Oh, River, the best freshwater administrative assistant this side of the Ohio. <laughs> well, we're glad that you could meet up today. Happy birthday, River! Happy birthday, River. We're glad you could tear yourself away from your work to come celebrate. Happy birthday, River. You know, River, I was wondering the other day, are you a muscle or a clam? Garth, that may not be the most appropriate way to learn about someone. Sorry, River. I appreciate your apology, Garth. Honestly, I'm just thinking of myself as a freshwater bivalve. Wait a second. Freshwater bivalve? What is that? Some special part of a speedboat or something? Do I look like a speedboat, Garth? Oh no, Garth. Freshwater bivalves are a type of mussel with a hidden shell that lives in freshwater habitats. In the U.S., we have over 300 species alone. Yeah! Some of us can live a very long time. Up to 100 years. At least some mussels can, I think. I have a long time to go before I hit 100. <laughs> what I think is really cool about freshwater mussels is that they improve water quality. They filter out bacteria and algae and other pollutants. Unfortunately, it also makes them easily harmed by water pollution. Yeah, that's why many species are extinct and so many others are endangered. Bummer town. You said it, Garth. Oh, River, I wish there was a way we could have figured out how to get you a cake. That's okay. It's kind of hard to blow out candles without lips anyway. Cake or no cake, here's to many more birthdays. Yeah. I wish we could celebrate in person. I'd love to leave this shallow pool I call home. Yeah, like we were saying earlier, is we're doing the best thing we can right now. We'll do something when it's safe to do so. We'll celebrate real big. Anywho, I think like video chats like these are a good way to stay connected in the meantime. Personally, I love sending letters too. There's something really special about sending letters to your friends and also receiving them. That could be something. Might be hard to compose a letter from a bucket filled with water, though. Fair enough. I read another good way to help with quarantine is to keep a routine. And not just like boring stuff. Like do something nice for yourself at least once a day, like a nice little ritual. Like watching cat videos. I know you like that, Garth. Have you seen the videos of odd animal friends? They always make me happy. I've heard of them. Exercise is supposed to help. If you can go outside and do it safely, take a walk, play, anything, just something's good for you. I think this is also the perfect time to try new things and to work on some projects. I've been learning to knit! I have to have some accommodations, but I make it work! I've heard also of families making forts for the children, a special place when they need alone time. Maybe arranging a place in your bucket for when you need to relax would be helpful. That could be nice. I know something else that might help. What's that? Dance party! Uh, I'm not much of a dancer. Well, 
You don't have to, Garth, but there's no better time to try new things than now. Fine.
Love it. Love it. Love it. So I have to love it too. So let's see how many people love me today. CFR, DFR, Chief and Yogi, thanks a lot for your leadership today. Bye guys, have a good day. Enjoy your night. I'll be back by five. You made this park so safe. Thank you guys. It's all you and Yogi. Señorita, ¿usted se subió al precipicio allá arriba esta mañana noche? Huh? What did you say? What did you say? Did you climb the deadly cliff up there? Yes. Yes, I did. I have to. For my follower. You what? My follower. Mm-hmm. How many? Um, um, I don't know. I never count them. We go in the hiking and then they follow me. What? ¿Y esto, estos followers son sus amigos, señorita? Sí. Sí lo son. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. No sé qué decirle, señorita, porque los verdaderos amigos nunca, jamás, jamás, te pedirían hacer esas cosas tan locas. Ah, oh, ya 
lucky. Your English is so much better now. Mm, estoy hablando español, señorita. Lo que significa es que usted abrió su corazón. And when you open your heart, you can understand more people easily. In National Cliff Floor. <laughs> From the National Cliff Deadly Park. I need to keep them busy. You what? Since 
Together, we knew this would happen. But it hurts. Get rid of it. And the kitchen where else can we hide our broken heart Don't you dare put me in there. I won't go. I could keep you small and safe from being hurt ever again. Is it done? I couldn't do it. Give it to me. Thank you. 